for the Disney magic. We are enjoying our coconut and pineapple site. Slightly drippy. Soft serve early in the morning. And behind us, we have the Disney Dream. We're in the Grand Cayman Islands. We're so excited to get started with our day. Tonight is pirate night. We have so many fun things planned for today. Let's get this day started. All right, so we are headed downstairs to get on the tender boat to head to Grand Cayman. It's a tender report, so we need to go to the Buena Vista Theater to wait to be offboarded on our tendering boat. We have a few friends in there right now that are letting us know it's been a little bit frustrating, so we will see how it goes. We're on the beach here at Grand Cayman, we're on Seven Mile Beach. We took a cab here, and as soon as we got down on the beach, it started raining. So it is, it's not raining really hard, but it is raining pretty steady. And we're still having a pretty good time. The water is amazing. It's so blue, so clear. If you really want to go out in it, with this weather, we're just not sure if we really want to either. Because there's nowhere to put our bags. So, we'll see. And it's been a little bit of an adventure so far. It's a very wet adventure. Wet adventure. Before we tell you about our experience so far in Grand Cayman, we want to tell you about the tender process. Um, the tender, the line for the tender boat was really, really long. People seemed a little frustrated. We timed it the whole time for the whole line and then going to sit in Buena Vista Theater to getting on the tender boat was 30 minutes. So it's really not that bad. And it, once we got on the boat, it took about another 10 minutes or so to get going and then about another 10 minutes to get to shore. It is good to realize when it's a tender day, it's gonna take longer. And so we know when we go back also to the ship, it's gonna take a long time to get back on the ship, especially because it has been pouring down rain here. I still wanna go out there and swim in the water but it's just been raining and windy the whole time. <laughs> yeah, so Lindsay's gonna give you a demonstration of how wet it got. It's hard to tell, because she has a darker blue shirt on, but you can see the dry parts of the shirt there and the wet parts, but it's been pretty wet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else? I won't talk about it, okay. but there is lots, so much. Work. There's a lot to tell, but we're, we'll, we may not share all of it. Hi, Alyssa. Hey, so how was the beach? The beach looked nice, but it was kind of like pouring down rain. Yeah. Eh, a little bit of a bummer experience here so far, but yeah. I think we're looking to go to a place to eat that's going to be really good. So we're at Pepper's Bar and Grill, and after a bit of a rainy day, it's one of those things where you have this idea of what you want to do when you're somewhere, and nothing's really worked out the way we hoped it would. <laughs> Still trying to make the best of it, but to be honest, it's also a little bit of a bummer because one of the things we were coming here for was the conch fritters when we asked for those when the waitress was taking your order she said they just ran out yeah it's a bummer there could be a lot worse things happening as well we're just going to try to make the best of it enjoy the food that we did order and see what else we can experience here on the island before we head back to the ship all right our food came at peppers chris and i are sharing this um, mahi mahi coconut rundown which is one of the things we found out is a famous dish here on grand cayman Alyssa has grilled lobster tails Lindsay has garlic butter shrimp scampi and Chris also has a quarter of jerk chicken can't wait to try it um, Lindsay do you want some scampi with that rice sure. how is it good so what do you think of your uh, rundown it's good I like it the fish is so tender and the sauce is really good Alyssa is trying to get that meat off of her tail, which I think you can just pull it off the tail. It's like a giant prawn. Good. Yeah, we're supposed to have a lobster, I think, tomorrow night on the cruise. This looks way better than the lobster we've had before on the Disney cruise. That's also why I wanted to try the lobster, because I knew it might be better than the Disney cruise lobster. Yeah, well, that's a good point. All right, so the jerk chicken, it's really saucy. I wasn't expecting that. It's really good. It's got some good kick to it. A pleasant kick. Jerk sauce and barbecue sauce on the table, and that jerk sauce is really good. As bummed as we are that the uh, conch fritters weren't available, the food that we had was, was super tasty. Still really glad we came here, and sometimes a good bite of food can like brighten your day. We have some dessert on the way, uh, sticky toffee pudding, and key lime pie. 
The great thing is the key lime pie was big enough to cut into four slices and Carrie did a masterful job at that. I have so many talents. So many talents. Alyssa's talent is eating the uh, already cut pieces of pie. How was the key lime? Good. Mmm. Sticky pudding. It's nothing like pudding, but it's good. The key lime pie is like... Yeah. Tart? It is. Yeah, it's very it's, tart. It's a good mix of sweet and tart though, I think. It's not bad, but it's very tart. So the desserts were really good. Good options, good choices. Glad we ate here. I think it's three o'clock. We need to be back to the dock. I think the last boat leaves at 4.30. So we want to get back, do a little shopping at the port area, and then head back to the ship. So we're back at the uh, North Terminal, and uh, we did a little shopping after we uh, left Peppers. I got an ornament. Lindsay got a t-shirt to replace her wet one that's probably actually now pretty dry. Glad she found what she liked. There's a little bit of a line to get on the next uh, tender boat before we head back to the Magic. And I'm a little bit tempted to uh, head in there really quick while we're on line to get a few rum cakes because we had some after last year in uh, Tortola. I think we're gonna pass this year. Thank you. <laughs> Lindsay's saying stay. Oh boy, good, we we're in the right line. The magic is right there. The dream is over there. It's hard to see from here. We just wanna make sure we're getting on the right line for the right Disney ship. Made it. Carrie and I put our stuff back in our stateroom after we got back on the ship. We're gonna try something that we've never done before. We're probably not the first people to try it, but I've never seen anyone else do this. Carrie has an idea that includes soft serve and coffee. I had a brilliant idea today. Soft serve and coffee, because it's hot outside. exciting. That's Carrie's own Disney Cruise soft serve affogato. This is so good. I love your uh, creative mind. Thank you. Carrie and I just spent about an hour in the Pike Cove area hanging out with uh, friends that are on the cruise with us. It's just really nice to relax. There's Carrie. I want to show you guys uh, the princess ship that was with us at port in Grand Cayman is following us. Almost like neck and neck with us right now. It's, it's actually kind of fun to see that, but I hope they're having a fun time. We sure are on the magic. We are on our way to a Gill's pub to hang out with some friends before the pirate show. And these are just some super cool retro looking pictures of the magic when it was first built and Castaway Key when it was a brand new destination, a uh, private island for Disney. There's something about knowing that these have probably been here since the ship opened. It's kind of cool. show was a lot of fun. It was fun hanging out with some of our viewers and friends we're making on this cruise. Right now we're headed to Rapunzel's for night two there. I think it's the Lantern Show, I believe. We've never done it, so anything new, a new menu, a new show at dinner is always super fun for us. So looking forward to it. Can't wait to try new things. Right now I've just got Lindsay and Alyssa with me. We lost her up on deck 10. She'll get down here soon. Everyone's here. Hi. Our main server has been gone the last couple of nights. She's back. Tonight we got uh, pretzel bread for our bread service. So the pretzel bread with this mustard dip, it's like a very light mustard taste. It's really good. Crisp Arendelle shrimp. Our amazing servers got that for everyone at the table. So everyone is getting this uh, appetizer. 
because they're pretty certain that we're all going to like it a lot. I may have glossed over the fact that this uh, appetizer is named after Frozen because it's crispy Arendelle shrimp. We think it has something to do with uh, Tangled because if you know something about the movie Tangled, you know that Rapunzel and Flynn show up at Queen Elsa's coronation. So that's why I think this is in here. Bunch of really good things here. That snuggly duckling platter looks amazing. I think I'm getting that. It's funny how the uh, menu says crisp Isle of Corona shrimp instead of uh, Arendelle shrimp. I'm gonna try the wedge salad. That sea bass is always really good. We always love getting that. The Flynn Rider platter, I think I'm going for that as well. And I think that's it for uh, dinner. And it looks like we have one of the uh, royal people from Corona visiting our table tonight. He's posing for pictures. Carrie got the uh, ravioli and the ahi tuna tartar appetizers. Of course, hers is here first because she's the lady. Carrie just got the smolder, which is a special drink here. That's cotton candy. Now you see it, and now you don't. Oh, yeah. Is it good? Yes. Very good. Uh, the Smolder has Prosecco, Peach, Limoncello, Cotton Candy, and St. Germain Elderflower. It's yummy. I thought it might be too sweet with the cotton candy, but it's really, it's not. Very good. I got the charcuterie board that's on the menu, and it looks really, really good. I can't wait to try this. I know that there's a dill pickle, and there's mustard. I'm not sure what that is, but there's other kinds of meats in here. And a loaf of bread, mini loaf of bread. Rapunzel's here. Why, thank you. Oh, well, absolutely. <laughs> we are friends now, so yeah, it's yeah. we're as thick as feet, or as thick as a former thief in the horse he used to chase him around. My floating lantern came. That's a interesting looking drink. Not really sure what to expect from it. Hopefully it's good. All right, I have one of my favorite things, which is the pan-seared uh, sea bass. This is a different one. It has different garnish and everything, but I love the sea bass. And then over here is a tangled pasta, which angel hair pasta with basil pesto, caramelized sea scallops, roasted vine tomatoes, and sundry tomato tapenade with a roasted Meyer lemon. So my main course just got here as well. I got the Flynn Rider platter, which is grilled smoked pork loin, smoked pork belly. I also got brockwurst, braised red cabbage, fried potato dumplings, and a spat burger under white shoe. <laughs> I love everything here. This all looks so good. I also got the uh, pan seared sea bass, which Carrie got as well. I just had a bite of uh, Alyssa's pasta. Lindsay also got that. Carrie also got it. I didn't give you a bite of my pasta. No, you didn't. I'm sorry. I Carrie did not give me a bite of her pasta. Oh, so good. Yeah. That well, one of the best things. I just tried it. It's amazing. Yeah. I wish I got it. This uh, pork belly was a little too well done. The sausage was really good. There was a potato dumpling, I think. That was amazing. And unfortunately, it's probably the best thing on this plate. Carrie's pasta, definitely the star of the show. So good. Very good. So I gave Crystal my drink because she loves champagne. Not as big of a fan. I followed Bryson's lead and got the pina colada. One of the highlights of the dinner was the lantern show. Both of our servers gathered a lot of us to join in the dance party. We walked around the room holding hands and listening to music and just having a great time. Our server Yunupa then brought out a birthday cake made from napkins and other things to celebrate Adam's birthday. This was just another fun way that we got to celebrate Adam's birthday a few weeks before his actual birthday all throughout the cruise. I ordered the Gothel Black Forest Tower, which was amazing. It had chocolate cream, like a cherry compote with chocolate cake, probably my favorite dessert of the night. I also ordered the creme brulee cheesecake, which was also fantastic, and the Rapunzel's fry pan sweetbread, which was good, but by the time I got to it, I was stuffed. Yanupa, our amazing server, told us all about how she learned how to do calligraphy at an early age in Thailand. She showed us how she does her calligraphy and she made each of us our own paper lantern with our name on it. Yanupa did so many special things for us on this cruise. She also made me a rose bracelet out of my pirate bandana. Dinner was super fun and delicious as always. We just got back from dinner. Our room attendant made us another towel animal and it's pirate night. So of course it's Davy Jones with our sunglasses and some chocolate gold coins. Love that. And Stitch is keeping him company too. The girls are off hanging out with friends, but Alyssa really loves having the Murphy bed. So our room attendant has been great by just bringing that down each night instead of the bunk bed. It's cool to have a cabin this size like this where she can have that option. Watching Taylor Mason, uh, he did the ventriloquist show in the uh, Walt Disney Theater the first night we were here. And he's doing this for the adults. And he's been doing such a good job making everyone laugh. 
a CPR dummy. No, a cardiopulmonary resuscitation dummy. That's it, CPR. No, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Why do you keep spelling out each and every syllable? To make you do it without moving your lips. Okay, okay, very funny. Oh, Nick, turn it off and make it melt me. All right. It's pretty much the end of the day on day four on the Disney Magic, and I think we're gonna wrap it up. You know, we got to go into the Cayman Islands, a place I had never gone before. Me too. It was really beautiful. We, we love going new places. Experienced some crazy weather. Yeah. Um, we saw some beautiful clear water. We ate some delicious food. And then we had a, like a completely full day on top of it after we got back on the ship. We got to hang out in the adult only area and yeah. relax. That's the first time we've been able to really do that, I think, for an extended period of time on a cruise, which is kind of sad, but that's just kind of life when you have kids yeah. on the ship with you. This trip is the, the trip that the kids have made the most friends and they've been yeah. with them all the time. Yeah. So I feel fine just being in the cove area, not feeling like they're looking for me or anything like that. So that was really fun. Dinner at Rapunzel's was amazing. The pirate party was really fun. The fireworks are great. And then it was really fun afterwards to go and watch the um, the comedian, ventriloquist, Tyler Mason. We got to see him again in, a, yeah. in an adults-only setting. So overall, today was still a lot of fun. It's one of the reasons we love this type of vacation, because even when things don't go the way you kind of hope, yeah. other things happen that are even better. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we're excited to, to share our next day with you. Day five, which will be a day at sea yeah. tomorrow, next week for you guys. So we can't wait to share more of this with you. We hope you uh, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload a new video. Until next time, we love you guys and we'll see you guys real soon. Bye. Bye.